The Royal Society London. Around 200 people from science, industry, policy and media have gathered to discuss Future Earth. But what do people want from Future Earth and how can it deliver? The biggest challenge for Future Earth is a kind of process one, I think. It's about, it's about articulating and demonstrating what, what people are calling transdisciplinary research, what that actually means. So how do we turn interdisciplinary analysis of a sustainability challenge or problem and the generation of some academic solution, how do we then implement that solution with society at large to produce a more sustainable society? I would love it if Future Earth Research Agenda could help um, identify pathways to solutions that really were possible and were going to be implemented. And I think the opportunity that Future Earth presents in this area is the fact that it can work across um, boundaries, disciplinary boundaries. So we can come up with pathways for sustainability that don't just think about the scientific challenges but the technological and the social challenges so that those pathways are going to be much more likely to be accepted and I think that's the real opportunity for me in Future Earth. It's a global problem um, and much of our research activity is still very nationally located. We've got to find ways of working together across national boundaries. Uh, Future Earth offers that prospect and it's got a very ambitious aim of translating what we understand about the problems of sustainability into offering some solutions. I think one of the things that we have to do is develop uh, better the web-based research space. Uh, we have, uh, at the moment, we have quite a small community uh, and we're trying with Future Earth to link several communities together, but also to link beyond communities, so to link to businesses, policymakers, and the public in general. And the way to do this, or one way to do this, uh, would be to use the power of the internet, which has been used for social media, has been used for communication of the, of the news and so on, but it has not really been used uh, to explore, exploit the knowledge uh, that is outside of the academia and to uh, transfer both the questions and the answers between the academic community and the public. And I think if we were able to uh, exploit uh, this power much more than we are now, we could go much, much further and understand better what exactly are the concerns of the society and where is it that science can play a role and help to answer those concerns. It's undoubtedly the right program not just for my generation but for the generations I'm now teaching at university. I mean we have got to solve some profound global sustainability challenges really in the next 20 years.